Hi guys, welcome to another episode. If you like the videos, please don't forget to hit the subscribe and the like buttons. Today we're going to talk about filtrations. There's three types of main filtration that we use. The mechanical, the biological and the chemical. Now, mechanical predominantly is used to polish the water. For example, the sponge filter on the right hand side here. It also houses beneficial bacteria over time. And we all know that beneficial bacteria is uh, also known as nitrifying bacteria. It's very important to convert our ammonia to nitrite and from nitrite to nitrates. The more powerful media that we would recommend the biological media like this. Over here we have the marine pure gems and also marine pure balls. And this would house even more beneficial bacteria and it makes the nitrogen process a lot faster. So it takes a little while, probably about a couple of weeks for your tank to be fully cycled. That's when we have enough number of beneficial bacteria converting the poisonous ammonia and nitrite into nitrate. The only way to remove nitrate is forming a more water change. While we don't expect you to do 70 to 80% water change, you can do partial water change on a more regular basis. Now there's also another type of filter media we can use, which is the chemical. Now this is not necessary, even though it removes a lot of our toxic in the water, but it's, it's um, not necessary in your tank if you don't want to have to use this, uh, it's entirely up to you. The most important one is the biological um, media. This we usually have in our canister or in our sump. The more the merrier, so there's no such thing as over filtrations. So you should have a sufficient amount of these uh, media in your filtrations and this will keep your water very stable over time. There's nothing wrong with canister filter. It's actually very quiet and also it uses less energy as well. But the problem I have with canisters is because the lack of space to hold the biological, uh, biological medias, whereas some has got a much bigger space. So we have more flexibility as well. You can have more sponge, you can have more medias. We just make maintenance a lot easier as well. With canisters, there's nothing wrong with that. But if you're heavily stocked tank, you might have to clean it up more regularly. we we'll be looking about one or two months, you have to clean it up. But with some, you, you can last up to a couple of months, like three up to six months. So when it comes to filtrations, either you're using a canister or some, you want to be turning the tank around uh, approximately five to six times an hour. For example, if you're using a 200 liters tank like this one here, you want a canister that's able to circulate the water at least 1,000 to 1,200 liters per hour. Uh, and the same goes to some. So it really comes down to how big is your system. But we want to be turning the water around at least five to six times an hour. Now, when it comes to cleaning, there's no standard answer to that. It really comes down to how many fish you have in the tank. For a heavily stocked tank, I would recommend, say, uh, monthly. Now remember, always clean out your filter with tank water, not straight tap water, because you will destroy all the beneficial bacteria. For less heavily stocked tanks, say if you go by the textbook, uh, one adult fish per 40 liters, you can actually maintain your filtration once every two to three months. If you fail to maintain your filter uh, on time, so what happens is both the mechanical and the biological medias will get clogged up. That will lead to lower water quality because these guys are not able to work at the expected rate because it's been covered with other debris. And also you realize you have less amount of beneficial bacteria. So it's always, always very important to maintain the cleanliness of your media, but do not actually um, clean them too regularly at the same time. So I would recommend once every one to two months, but not too regularly. Well, prices of candy, so they range from $200 up to about $1,000. So usually the bigger the, the canister, the more expensive it will be. But I do not recommend a very expensive one. So long as it's got a healthy flow rate uh, that does its job, that should be good enough. There's no need to break the bank accounts. Now guys, all these products, sponge feeders, uh, biological medias, and chemical medias, they're all available in store. So if you need some, just come in the store and check them out. Thanks for watching and make sure to follow our channels and hit the subscribe and like button, please.